I am running the Brighton Half Marathon tomorrow, and I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not nervous, but I'm also not in a bad position. But the most important thing is that I'm not going for a PB. I am just going to go and have a fun race, get around, and enjoy my time. I'm not going for anything specific. So if you've seen my previous video on isotretinoin, you'll know why I'm not going for a PB. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. So I signed up to do this race around New Year's Eve time. I was taking my own advice to sign up for a race to keep myself motivated. And now it's time to actually run. One of the main reasons why I'm not super nervous about the race tomorrow is because I've done four half marathons in the past. So I kind of know what to expect. And besides, nothing can be worse than the first ever half marathon I did where I crossed the finish line and thought I was going to pass out. I felt terrible. But I had done that with no training. This one, I've got some training, a bit inconsistent, but I've got some, plus I've got a history of running half marathons. The last half marathon that I ran was the Isle of Man half marathon last August, so about six months ago, before isotretinoin. And there I got a PB time of about an hour 42. That was also one of the hardest courses I've ever run. So getting a PB time on a really hard course gives me some hope that tomorrow I'll be able to finish the race semi-comfortably. And if I were to talk about the training that I've done, well, there really hasn't been any. In the last six months I've tried to stay as consistent as possible, but that hasn't worked greatly because of the isotretinoin. And the longest I've run has been about 10 kilometers, so less than half of the distance that I'm going to be running tomorrow. So I can probably predict that the last kilometers tomorrow are going to hurt a little bit more than they usually would. Currently, the weather tomorrow is looking cold but okay and more than likely it's going to start raining before I finish the race. So, what I was planning to wear, I wanted to wear this Hoka running vest, mainly because it's got my team logo on the back. But because it's going to be so cold, I'd rather go for something slightly warmer, like this Asics long sleeve running shirt. I've also got a great pair of running leggings, and I'll throw some shorts over the top. I am not a leggings and no shorts kind of guy. Mm -mm. I'm also wearing a pair of Stance running socks, mainly because they're slightly longer to keep my ankles warm. And shoes, well, I'm actually trying something new. On the community tab of my channel, there is a vote, so you can choose what shoes I wear tomorrow. Currently it's between the Gel Nymphs 25s and the Nova Blast 3s. You choose. In terms of supplements, I'm going to be using these Science in Sports Energy Gels. I tend to take one 10 or so minutes before the race starts, and then I'll take the other three every five kilometers. So at kilometer five, 10 and 15. That's worked for me in the past, and so I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. Post run, I like to have these high five electrolyte tablets. One of the best things I like about these is the fact that they're zero sugar. Because during the race, I'm gonna be taking four energy gels, which is basically all just sugar. The other thing, tropical, by far the best flavor bar none. And using supplements I know is an extra benefit that I like using. I could run the race without anything. I've done that in the past and it's been completely fine. It's just one of those things that I like doing. I like looking forward to having my next gel in five kilometers. I actually quite like them. I know that's an unpopular opinion. I know some people hate gels. I quite like them. So I like looking forward to them every five kilometers. And having the electrolyte there waiting for me at the finish line is just something, again, to look forward to. And I know it might be somewhat placebo, but I think it does absolutely help with recovery. It makes you feel better at least. But my actual on the day race plan, what is it? Okay, so my previous four half marathons, I ran a one hour 42, a one hour 44, a one hour 52, and a two hours and one minute. So in my head, if I can do anything sub two hours, I will be completely happy with that. During my fastest half marathon, when I ran the one hour 42, I think I was averaging about a 450 minutes per kilometer pace. If I want to get a sub two hours tomorrow, I've got to run a 540 minutes per kilometer pace. So I've got an almost an extra whole minute per kilometer. So it should be somewhat doable. But hey, that's my plan for Brighton Half Marathon tomorrow. Let me know if you've run any half marathons in the past or if you have any plans to run them in the future. And let me know what training tips you might have for me. Keep running and I'll see you in the next one.